lining everything up, all stainless steel equipment, quarter inch 20s, stainless steel back bolts, spring nuts. We're going to be using the SMA combiner boxes, kind of like how these guys have all our fuses and everything incorporated into them, the ground bars, the neutral block. By the time it looked like that I was going to buy a buy a regular disconnect and try to do all that with the ground blocks and the ground bars, try to get fuse protection in here. I believe these were the cheapest way of going, especially on the labor side. Firing up one bank of modules. As you can see what we're doing is we're leaving these a little loose so we don't get any rubbing across these areas here. You know, we look to make sure that nothing's hitting the nuts and bolts. Making sure all our connectors are closed and tight. If there was anything wrong with these connectors, we'd see a little gap either on this side or this side where the connectors are coming together. We see nothing here. And then these are all of our, either our positives or negatives going back. So this will be our one end series wiring of all these modules together. Da, 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 da. And here's our positive. Negative on one end, positive on the other side. Same thing here. Wired these down, came across, hit our seven, five, six, seven, and our positive on this side over here. All of these pylons and all these footers, 14 inches in diameter, 24 inches down minimum, and then the extended above grade, approximately 30 inches. We are in a flood swell area, so where uh, we get hurricanes.